she was wearing a pink dress. And I just remember looking down and smiling. That's all I remember. And I remember just turning to my roommate in the middle of sacrament, who was passing the sacrament, and I turned to my roommate and I said, oh my goodness, that boy is so cute. And we had a country dancing um, activity for family home evening, and I saw him there, and I was like, I feel like this is my moment to finally actually do something. Um, and then our friend Alaya was with me, and she was decently good friends with him, and she talked like she had talked to him before. She was like, hey, how are you doing? And I was like, good, how are you doing, you know? And she was like, here, this is Michelle. And I was like, hey, Michelle, how's it going? You know, we talked for a bit and I was like, you know, you should come to this movie night. Just that, uh, just inviting a bunch of people, uh, her and Eliam. But I had an essay to write. <laughs> and so he told me that if I finish that essay, I should come to the movie. And I have never written an essay faster in my life. <laughs> It was the worst score of an essay I've ever gotten in my life, but I think it worked out. <laughs> She, at a game night, um, was dared to text me. And so I get this like random text saying like, do you like ax throwing? I have no idea who it is. Like, she didn't say me this is Michelle. It was just, do you like ax throwing? <laughs> so confused. And I respond, I was like, I do, who is this? And she's like, oh, this is Michelle from the ward, by the way. I was like, oh, okay. Now that makes sense, you know? So now that we have that backstory, so she has my number now, we have each other's numbers. She texts me one day, hey, I made cupcakes, you want one? And I was like, sure, why not, you know? And I knew I wanted to talk to him because at the movie night we didn't talk at all. <laughs> and so I baked cupcakes and I texted him and I was like, hey, I made cupcakes, do you want some? I have like. 35, I made so many. And so I brought like a whole plate over and he was like, yeah, we're watching the movie, come over. And so she comes over to the movie night and she stayed. Like, I didn't honestly not expect her to stay at all. I was just like, sure, come, I'll take a cupcake. <laughs> at that movie night, that's when it clicked though, it's because we laughed so hard during that movie. We didn't watch a second of no, movie. No, no, I don't remember like, watching the movie at all. It was when we laughed that entire time that I knew, okay, I wanna take this girl out on a date. He picked me up and then we went to the axe throwing place. I don't, Eber Hatchets or something. Yeah, Eber Hatchets. And we went in and we started throwing and she kind of taught us how to throw because I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. And I was destroying him at first. Like, it was like destroying him. It was like 5 to 40 or something like that. <laughs> and then I guess I got a little too cocky. <laughs> and he caught up. And then he destroyed <laughs> me. And that was like it. Because at that point, I was so competitive and angry that I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to play again. You did it twice! No, 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 I didn't see you in that one. Do you not remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> and she tells me she loves me. <laughs> we were watching a movie. Um, Red Notice. Yeah. I'm not that. <laughs> but we were watching Red Notice and... Yeah, just at one point, we like, I don't know. Locked eyes, I guess. <laughs> One thing led to another. <laughs> I had gotten a 
ring that looked similar to her like favorite ring and she chose it out she like looked at it she's like i love this it's similar to what i got um so i had like a i uh, asked about like pricing and uh we originally thought that we were going to get a moise night <laughs> i go home for texas that summer i tell my mom the plan and things and my mom looks at me she says no you are not getting a moist night on that ring. And so my mom said, you might as well get it now before you have to get it later. <laughs> and I look at my dad and my dad just nods. He says, yep. <laughs> and so I said, okay. So we increased the budget and uh, went to looking at different ring places and found the exact ring that uh, she had been wanting. That's her favorite ring. And Push can we shove there it went. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
if you had three jobs last semester and you still made it work, even with me. <laughs> and how kind you mm-hmm. But it's like, what do I choose? <laughs> I think like probably one of the biggest things that I love about you is the way you adapt and the way you change to things is like one thing I've noticed is you really change quickly you adapt quickly um and i love that because you make the most of every situation that you're in and i really love that um i love your desire to like learn and change like about the gospel i love the way that you handle conflict you like working things out you have a really big heart as well like it's just how much you love people and how much you care about everything.